Good day everyone. In this video, we will discuss the different parts of a trans power transformer and its functions. What is a power transformer? Transformers are used to transfer electrical energy from one circuit to another through electromagnetic induction. They are used either to step up or step down voltage levels. A transformer is made of several different parts that function in their own different ways to enhance the overall functioning of a transformer. These include the core, windings, insulating materials, transformer oil, top changer, conservator, breather, cooling tubes, buckles relay, and explosion vent pressure relief device. What are the different parts of a power transformer? So in this picture, we can see inside the transformer, the core, the windings, and of course the top changer. Also, in the, inside the transformer, the transformer oil is also located. Here, we can also see the primary bushings and also the secondary bushings. In this picture, also, we can see the main tank, the radiator or the cooling fins, or sometimes called a cooling tubes, the explosion vent, breather, the conservator, the vocal relay, which is located between the conservator and the main tank, and of course the bushy. Transformer main tank. The transformer tank provides the containment for, for the core and windings and for the dielectric fluid. It must withstand the forces imposed on it during transport. On larger transformers, it is usually also provides additional structural support for the core during transport. Here in this picture, we can see a sample of a Transformer main tank. Transformer core. The core of, of the transformer is used to support the windings. It is made of soft iron to reduce eddy current loss and hysteresis loss and provides low reluctance path to the flow of magnetic flux. The diameter of a transformer's core is directly proportional to copper loss and inversely proportional to iron loss. So here in this picture, we can see typical assembly OP transformer core. And here in the right, right uh, left side picture, we can see also a operating principle OP transformer. We have a primary winding wound in the primary side of the transformer. We have the secondary winding wound in the secondary side of the transformer. And from voltage applied from the primary, it will produce a magnetic flux through the core and with that the magnetic induction will be produced and this the secondary winding also will induce a voltage transformer windings windings consist of several copper coil turns bundled together each bundle connected to form a complete winding Windings can be based either on the input-output supply or on the voltage range. Windings that are based on supply are classified into primary and secondary windings, meaning the windings to which the input and output voltage is supplied respectively. On the other hand, windings based on voltage range can be classified into high voltage and low voltage windings. Insulating materials Insulating materials like papers and cardboards are used to isolate primary and secondary windings from each other as well as the transformer core. These windings are made of copper due to high conductivity and ductility. High conductivity minimizes the amount of copper needed and minimizes losses. Moreover, high ductility results in easy bending and of conductors into tight winding around the core that also minimizes the amount of copper and volume of winding. Transformer oil. The transformer oil insulates as well as cools the core and coil assembly. The core and windings of the transformer must be completely immersed in the oil that normally contains hydrocarbon mineral oils. Three basic types of transformer oil used are mineral oil, silicon, and bio-based. Mineral oil-based transformer oils dominate the consumption as it has good electrical and cooling properties and provides cost-effective solution. Conservator 
The conservator is an airtake metallic cylindrical drum fitted above the transformer that conserves the transformer oil. It is vented at the top and is filled only half with the oil to allow expansion and contraction during temperature variations. However, the main tank of the transformer with which the conservator is connected is completely filled with the oil through a pipeline. So this is a outer picture of pictures of a conservator. And here, in this picture, we can see an inside view of a conservator, which uh, include air cell, the breather, uh, breather going to breather pipe going to the silica gel breather, air release packet, drain bulb, and of course to the pipe going to the main tank. Breather. The breather is a cylindrical container filled with silica gel which is used to keep the air that enters the tank moisture-free. This is because the insulating oil when reacts with moisture can affect the insulation and cause internal faults, which is why it is a must to keep the air free from moisture. In the breather, when the air passes through the silica gel, the moisture contents are absorbed by the silica crystals. Here is a sample of a silica gel breather. This blue color uh, crystal is called the silica gel top changer to balance voltage violations within the transformer top changers are used there are two types of top changers on load and off load in on load top changers topping can be changed without isolating transformer from the supply while in off load the transformer needs to be disconnected from the supply so in this picture we can see a sample of a on load top changer. While in this picture, we can see a sample of a de energized top changer or an off load top changer. Cooling tube or radiator. As the name suggests, cooling tubes or radiator are used to cool the transformer oil. The circulation of oil within the transformer may be natural or forced. In the case of natural circulation, when the oil, transport, the oil temperature rises, the hot oil naturally moves to the top and cold oil moves down, while in case of poor circulation, an external pump is used. In this picture, we can see the cooling tube or radiator, sometimes called cooling fins. Buckles Relay The Buckles Relay's purpose is to give the protection to a transformer from the different faults happening in the transformer like the short circuit, interturn, core, incipient, etc. This relay will sense these faults and shuts the alarm circuit. Place over the connecting pipe that runs from the main tank to the conservator tank. The buckles relay senses the faults occurring within the transformer. It operates by the gases emitted due to the decomposition of transformer oil during internal faults. Thus, this device is used to sense and in turn protect the transformer from internal faults. So here an example of a buckles relay that is used in a transformer. So in this picture, we can see the location of the buckles relay which is uh, connected in between the conservator and a transformer tank through a pipeline. Explosion Bent and Pressure Relief Device The working principle of transformer pressure relief device is very simple. A pressure arises inside a transformer and exceeds a preset pressure limit. The pressure safety valve opens its valve clamp, which is held by a spring and releases the internal pressure until it declines. So here is an example of a pressure relief devices that we can see in different types of a power transformer. While the explosion vent is a vent usually of a glass diaphragm, the boiling hot oil from the transformer is expelled during internal faults through the explosion vent to avoid explosion of the transformer. This is generally placed above the level of the conservator tank. So in this picture, we can see the location of explosion vent which is located above the level of the conservator tank. Bushing, primary and secondary. In electrical power, a bushing is a hollow electrical insulator that allows an electrical conductor to pass safely through a conducting barrier, just as the case of a transformer or circuit breaker, without making electrical contact with it. Bushings are typically made from porcelain, though other insulating materials are also used. 
Their purpose is to control the voltage field around the center conductor so that the voltage distributes more uniformly across the surrounding insulation system in the bushing. So in this picture, we can we can see also the different types of bushings. And these types are determined with the different types of system voltage. Thank you for watching and if you learned something from this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe.